Good morning. I went to bed relatively early, and that means I should feel relatively awake, right? Not right. Good morning, guys. Well, actually, I tried to go to bed relatively early. I actually went to bed at 10 o'clock and then didn't sleep till 1 o'clock. But I mean, that's supposed to be better than going to bed at 1 o'clock and not sleeping until 3 or 4 or 5. And still waking up at the same time. So it was better. But it's time for crap. Oh, it worked today. It just worked. It didn't. It didn't give me any problems. It worked, and that was. Thank you. Thank you. This is getting too weird too early. So today I'm going to drink all of this coffee, and I'm not going to leave early, because I don't want to. Period. Pretty much, unless there's other some prior commitment some other prior commitment that I'm forgetting. I don't think there is though, so I think I'm safe. And you should always be safe, whatever you do. Just be safe. So today one of the things I wanted to do, I want to share with you, with you guys, a haiku that was written by Chris Hadfield, he's a commander up in the space station for the International Space Station, and he's a Canadian, and he wrote an orbital orbital haiku that he shared with everyone it was a few weeks ago now but it says fly so high so fast 16 sunrises each day count my lucky stars i thought it was really good and i want to share it with you so fly so high so fast six 16 sunrises each day that's eight right seven Six, seven, count my lucky stars. Count my lucky stars. So six, seven, five. Isn't that a haiku? I don't know. So I finished some of my coffee. I had some soup, which was wonderful. And now I'm watching YouTube videos and trying to find other YouTubers that I should watch. I'm also tired. But it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. You know what? I've made a piano riff in a couple of days, so I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be good. So let's do that. See? I'm here. And I don't know why I teleported that much. That was just like. That wasn't really a worthy teleport. Just kidding, I'm actually gonna write one now. Uh.
Whoa! Almost dropped you guys off of the ledge, and that would have been bad, even though you've been through worse falls and survived. Hey, I just wrote another one called Becoming that will be on Distortion 1990. Link in the description. Teaser here. I'm feeling hungry, everyone. I think instead of buying lunch, I'm going to take lunch. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to take it. Uh, I'm going to take it to work and eat it at work. And then I'm going to buy a burger on the way because I'm actually really hungry. So I'm going to take a fork, I'm going to take that, I'm going to heat it up, and I'm going to eat it. It's going to be good. Oh, it's a busy day. I don't like busy days. Complain, complain, complain. Um, only five days left, and then my six day stretch is over. I think that's a good way to look at it. Count down the days one at a time. Makes it easier, makes it better. Maybe, probably not. You know what, it, we always try to get by in, in life, and I wrote a poem. It's right here, right on this piece of paper. And before I go tonight, go good night tonight, good night tonight, good night, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to read it to you, if you don't mind. Looking, searching, seeking something more, something different, something the same. From the pain that we feel, to the pills that we take, to the experiences we have, from the stories that we uncover and tell, we all fold, we all long, and we all fail. In the chase for something the same, the journey of some similarly amazing, forsaken, cursed, beautiful path that we call life. Don't blink, because you might miss the beauty. And what do we strive for when all around us is broken? Because we're all in this together. And that was my poem. I forget what it's called. I don't think I titled it. But it was my poem that I wrote tonight. So, um, I'm going to go to bed. Tell me what you thought in the comments, maybe. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.